even if you go back thousands of years ago, mm. you have these religious visions about creating mm. the superhumans, the perfect mm. humans. They never had the technology. So, I mean, the Stalin did not have the technology. Did not have also, yeah, thousands yeah. of years ago, people always had to postpone these fantasies to the afterlife. So now in this world, we can't do it, but the place where you can perfect human beings is after they die. In heaven or in purgatory, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, where the yeah, process yeah. Of, of perfection uh, yeah. is accomplished. The frightening thing about the 21st century is that now the actual technology is appearing. So a 21st century Stalin might have the actual tools mm. to do that and to change the course, not just of human history, but of human evolution. Yeah. And this is terrifying. So our margin for error on, on this front is also uh, 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 shrinking. And, um, and this goes back to, to, to the original question of what is the, the, the uh, uh, big ideological battle of, of today? And it's not that. I mean, people are not, this is, these are not the topics which are driving the, the, the political conflicts. And what, again, what really strikes me, you talk about how everybody around the world is, is opposing Europe and the kind of European world yeah, yeah. order. What is the alternative? I listen yeah. to the speeches, mm -hmm. to the writings of people like Putin, mm -hmm. like Orban, like uh, Xi Jinping, and I try to understand, okay, I understand what they don't like. What's the alternative? What is their vision for how would the world order look like? They mainly talk about the national vision, mm. which I understand. Mm. You want to have this kind of pure national fortress, mm. but how would nations actually relate to, to one another? And they don't offer uh, uh, a, a vision. And this, and as a historian, I find it very, very disturbing that at this moment in history, we don't see a clash between different visions of humanity or different visions of history. We have one vision, which everybody is familiar with, which is the kind of boring, liberal, European Fukuyama. vision. Fukuyama, Everybody is attacking yeah, yeah. it. But what is the alternative? What are they talking about? What's on the other side? And there is nothing on the other side, at least as far as I can tell. So uh, how does it look? To, do you know of something on the other side? Uh, no, no, first, uh, no, I'm, it's, it's, we don't have easy answers here, but uh, because, uh, again, we know the answer in an abstract principle in principle, ne? some new form of collaboration, blah, blah, blah. This is a continuation of, again, of the, of the kind of liberal European model. This we know, and we know that it is being opposed by people and forces all over the world. But I don't understand what they are offering as the alternative for, for the world as a whole and for dealing with these huge problems from climate change to the rise of artificial intelligence. I'm, I'm, uh, but I think, maybe I'm wrong and read too quickly project my mind into it. But I think the alternative is, it's a horrible word to use, what I cannot call but neo-fascism or simply fascism. Because wait a minute. Which when means you, what today? Uh, yeah, I will tell. Don't, uh, don't identify fascism too quickly with the Nazis, swastikas and so on. Fascism is for me best defined as as a uh, 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 conservative revolution. You want to sit on two chairs 